Hello, 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 it's Emma Holmes from Coaching Rockstars and on the What Does It Even Mean series we are talking Facebook algorithm today. So, let's go take a look. <laughs> algorithm what does that even mean the Facebook algorithm is um, kind of like a magic spell from Hogwarts Ooh. Um, it is a magic formula that Facebook um, change quite regularly that um, makes the decision as to who is and isn't going to see your Facebook posts the Facebook algorithm changes quite a lot and Facebook do publicize when there's a big change made to the algorithm but generally they're just little tweaks that happen behind the scenes Facebook have an algorithm because otherwise oh my word how noisy would Facebook be so if you got uh, in your news feed every single update from every single page that you follow do you know what? It would be madness. And Facebook are really committed to making sure that the user experience is high. So they will deliver content to the people who are interested in it. And, you know, great quality content still wins. Still wins, no matter what format it's in. Facebook still do um, give prefer preferential reach to video and Facebook Live content. So video content still remains being, you know, a big tick and it remains being, you know, people will refer to it as, you know, video is king. But you can also use other content. And how the algorithm works for your page will be very different to how it works for other people's pages. And it's a matter of trying and seeing what works for your particular page. Some people see, um, you know, links to their blog posts doing really epic things when other people say, you know, if you put a link to external sites via Facebook, your reach will go But it is dependent on your audience and the way that you deliver the content and the amount of information that you put within the post. So I'm finding that, you know, Facebook algorithm changes a lot and you've got to keep tweaking. You've got to keep trying new things. You've got to um, accept that your Facebook posts aren't going to be seen by absolutely everybody on your page. Lots of people are seeing around about a 10% um, reach being the norm. You know, I tend to work between uh, 10 and 25% on most of my posts that do I don't put any um, additional advertising on. And, you know, looking at making sure that you're consistent, that you're using your content well so that you're not just vomiting information onto Facebook. You know, the algorithm needs to uh, see what you've got going on and what people are responding to and is likely to get, give more reach to the stuff that works on your page and works for your fans and works for your audience. So, you know, not being wedded to how many people actually see it because if you help you know, 10% of your crowd, then that's great. You know, that's fantastic. If you're getting your information in front of 10% of the people that follow you, that is a great big tick. So not being wedded to your reach, remembering that, do you know what, sometimes the numbers on your page actually aren't telling you the whole story because I've had occasions in the past where it says that, you know, 18 people have seen this post, but 27 people have commented or reacted to it or whatever it might be. So just starting to look at the types of content that are working for you. And you can find those in um, the insights tab on your Facebook page. And you can start to say, you know, is it video? Is it um, images? Is it text only posts? Is it posts with a link? And you can start to see what sort of content works for you. And that's not to say don't do the stuff that isn't as good for you. You know, it's about then testing ways that you can do that stuff and whether or not that works or not for you. So the Facebook algorithm, it's a magic spell from Hogwarts. There is no point in even trying to work out what the algorithm actually says because it works and it's implemented in very different ways according to your page and your audience and the people that are watching what you do. It is also um, such a transient and transisting uh, algorithm that it changes so often and sometimes you'll see the impact of it, sometimes not so much so. Again, depending on your crowd. So don't get caught up in it. Don't get caught up in the um, 
you know facebook aren't showing anybody any of my posts please come and comment and if you see this please give me a wave kind of um approach because you know the algorithm is the algorithm we've got to accept that do you know what we probably wouldn't want posts every single post from every single page we follow i think on the last check i followed about two thousand different pages and if i got those updates in my news feed it would be massively massively overwhelming if every time they posted you know, I got all of those. I would miss the stuff that I wanted to see from friends and family and groups that I'm involved in. So, you know, we've got to balance that user experience with our marketing capacity over on Facebook. So that's a little bit of an insight into what the algorithm is. Speak soon. Bye.